You too. What is this? Why don't you take a look at it? You know that there's an abortion clinic right behind your building? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm against abortion. But... What does that look like? Uh, they look good on our part, you understand? Uh, you know, so people. what does that do? God's word says that we're supposed to bear fruit worthy of our repentance. Yes, sir. Yes, okay? So it, the, the truth of the matter is you're either obedient to God or you're not, right? Yep. There aren't gray areas when it comes to God. Yeah, definitely. You're either for him or you're against him. Yeah, but unfortunately, this isn't where you're supposed to live for the Lord. Out here is where you're supposed to live for the Lord. Why that? Why that? Why are you supposed to live out here for the Lord? You can do both, can't you? You can do both. Okay. But when you ignore this, it doesn't matter how much you do here. You know, what would it look like if Auschwitz was right behind your building? Okay. What did the German Christians, how did history judge the church in Germany? Now, why would we be a part of that? Why would we get issued into Auschwitz? Why would we even be part of that? If we're living for the Lord, why do we got to be a part of Auschwitz? Are, are you living for the Lord? Of course I am. How is that? Are you living for the Lord? Don't what does, what did Jesus say was the greatest yeah. commandment? What did Jesus say was the greatest commandment? Okay, that's not what we're talking about. That is what we're talking about. What you're doing right here. Because if you obey him, you will live and follow his commandments. And Jesus said very specifically what the two greatest commandments are when he was asked by the scribe. No, we're not judging people. We are calling them to repent. You have a place that murders thousands of babies. You don't sin at all. You're perfect. Who are you to judge someone else? So, so judge not lest ye not be judged. Of course. Matthew 7, 1. Of course. So what did Matthew 7, 1, what did 7, 2 through the rest of Matthew 7 say? We don't fact, have no part of that abortion clinic, okay? We come here and we pray. You don't think prayer works? No, but he said prayer didn't work. Okay, honestly, what I do is I go to church every every Sunday. That's every good, Wednesday, that's good, Saturday. that's good. I do my Bible study. I that's good. Abortion. That's I, good. I, I respect you doing this. Do you know, you but really do you know? I understand things, I respect that. I respect you reading, you know, I, I know what you're doing, okay? And I, like I said, I respect it, but... That's not me. I'm not. I'm. I'm not against. I'm against abortion. Yeah, but what does that look like? What? Hey, 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 are you are you against rape? What? Okay. Are you are you against rape? Of course. Okay. If somebody was being raped right there, would you say, "Hey, I'm against rape. I go to church." Okay. So if someone was if someone was being raped right there, is what is what you're trying to tell me. So. How would how would you feel? Okay, so if someone was um See? That's the that's the response of the church. We don't want to talk. We don't want to do what God's word says. Come, let's talk. Let's reason together, saith the Lord. See? You gotta ask yourself, why does the church not want you to talk to me? Well, it's really not that. See, I'm I'm pulled over and I'm talking to you, right? Right. And you're Oscar? My name's Matt, by the way, Oscar. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. I'm going to bring these with me, okay? All right. God bless you. But really, if if they were, if somebody was being murdered right here, if somebody was being beat up right here, if somebody was being raped right here, would you say, hey, I'm against that? Oh, I wouldn't say anything. I'd go over there and I'd stop it. Right. That's the good response. So, I wouldn't say so they're murdering people right there. And your response is, yeah, but I come here and I pray. And I do a Bible study. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, yes, I, I see that. But you know, I know there's people who want to make a change. And like I said, if there was anything I could do. There is. That's what we're saying. And what's that? You stand and you do what God's word says. You defend those being led to the slaughter. 2410, Proverbs 2410. You be a voice for the voiceless. Go. You be a voice for the voiceless. That's what God's word says. What does James 127 say? That pure and undefiled religion is. Right? Yeah. You do what his word says. See, this is this is the response of the church. You can't close it down. It's See, the law. There you I'm go. I'm against it, brother. But the, I mean, it's too positive. We can't do that. Be a Christian, sir. I am. It's like no, a, you're not, sir. I pray against it. 
You pray against it. And like I just told him, if somebody was being raped right there, would you say, hey, I'm praying against it? What are you doing about that? What's that? Liquor kills people. Oh, liquor kills people. So we got people being murdered in your backyard. So let's talk about liquor. It is your backyard, sir. It's right behind your building. In fact, you could throw a rock from the back of your church and hit the abortion clinic, sir. Yeah. He wants you to repent of your apathy, sir. Because unfortunately, when you disobey God or you only obey the things that you like, sir, God is not happy with you. What are the two greatest commandments from Jesus? And love your neighbor as yourself.